Ellen DeRusha, also known as S-Video on Thingiverse, posted that an ingenious 3D printable replacement for DeWalt's Airlock Quick Connect system. I have a link in the description to his design. I needed to modify this design to fit my own dust collection hoses in my workshop. I also wanted to print the connector with my remote bracket uh, attached. I showed you in a previous video how to make the threads. The parts will be assembled in the next video. I will also post a video on how to assemble the STL files directly in Bamboo Studio. For now, this video is about how I made modifications to the inlet part to use in assembling my version of the airlock connector. When you work with the STL files or converted STL files in Fusion, you can encounter some very strange issues. In this and the next video, I'll show you some of those issues and how to deal with them. On the Thingiverse, I found another modified or remixed version of the airlock connector. I don't know the name of this person, but he goes on Thingiverse by the name SPS199316. I have a link in the description. Anyway, this post included a Fusion file. It also contains a STEP file, but using that file in Fusion actually caused too many issues. I tried it out. I didn't like the results. So I loaded the Fusion file, and sure enough, as you can see here, it is converted to a solid file using the Fusion, Fusion Mesh uh, features. The free version of Fusion that I use have limited mesh conversion capabilities. Even in the full version that you get during the trial period, the conversions are far from perfect. I got the same errors as the downloaded file when I tried those conversions. The errors I'm talking about are shown here. This surface should be, be solid and not segmented. This will cause issues when combining parts. I will show some workarounds in this and the next video where the parts are assembled. If you have better solutions for anything you see I do, please do leave a comment for me. Okay, it's time to get started. Let's open Fusion. And I will uh, use uh, my checklist as I usually do. If you haven't printed a checklist already, you can find it in the 3D site, links below. Since I'm modifying an existing design, I need to start with step, step 3 on the checklist, and instead of creating and naming a new component, I'm going to import the file I downloaded. Hit Ctrl O, select from your computer. Go to the folder where the downloaded file is and select it. Now expand the timeline. The file was obviously saved originally with a fillet issue. Just delete that step. Back to uh, the checklist, step one, save and name the file. Hit Control S. I will name it Airlock Inlet Small Back Hose. Now let's verify that the uh, units are set to millimeter. Uh, step three again. I normally set up a separate component for every part. This can become difficult when working with an imported part. Let me show you here. I will make a component named Test. Now I need to move the bodies and the sketches into that component. No problem with bodies, but sketches are a different story. The problem is with plain references, and frankly it's way too much trouble fixing this when this is going to be uh, only part, uh, one part for now. So I'll undo all these steps and forget this. Step 4 on my checklist is also done a little different for an imported part. I want the bottom surface to be aligned with the XY axis. First, uh, make the origin visible. Next, select a line. Now hover over the bottom and then click and hold control. This enables me to select the center. Now select the XY plane. I want the part to stand up the other way, so I click flip and last. Click OK. Now let's turn off the origin view again. Since I'll be making at least two different uh, sizes of this inlet, I'll set up a few parameters. The inlet will be assembled with the hose threads. 
The outside and inside measurements for the small hose threads were 48 millimeters and 42 and a half millimeters. I will enter those here. OD for outside diameter, 48 millimeter. And for the inside, I'm going to give it a little bit of an edge for the hose. So I'm going to, instead of 42 and a half, I'll use 41 millimeter for ID. I'm going to add a couple of more parameters that I'll explain uh, momentarily. Offset 1, 7 millimeters, and offset 2 of 22 millimeters. That's all the parameters we need, so close the parameter box. Take a look at the important end of the inlet. We do not want to modify this. The cavity is about 5 millimeter deep, uh, and so therefore a 7 millimeter offset is a safe margin for modification. I also do not need this whole thing. I arbitrarily decided on a 22 millimeter height of the whole inlet bracket. So we are going to set two offset planes, a 7 millimeter and a 22 millimeter from the bottom. Now select split body and use the 22 millimeter offset plane as the splitting tool. Now I have two bodies. Remove the part we don't need. It's important to use remove and not delete as delete will cause all sorts of issues. I've been forgetting to save the file. I should be going by the checklist. I'm going to do that now. You should save frequently. I want to extrude the outer diameter. To do that I will project the geometry on the second plane I made. P is the shortcut for project. Select geometry, rotate the object a little and click on the outer perimeter. Rotate the part again and select the upper outer perimeter. Use the keyboard shortcut E for extrude. Then select the newly created circular area. Select to object and then click on the part. Next, uh, draw a circle. Keyboard shortcut is C. Use the top surface as the drawing plane. Drag from the center and type OD and enter. One more circle. This time ID for the inside diameter. Again extrude, this time we'll make a cut. Use these two circular areas. You hit control uh, when you select the second one. And make sure you're set to cut. And select two object, we're going to go to that uh, plane we have made. Turn off the plane view. Now select section analysis. Select the X set uh, plane. Rotate the part so the inside section is visible head on. I'm going to generate yet another construction plane right here in the center on the X uh, set axis. Then I need to project a few points to draw the next sketch. So P for project, select the new plane, and click on the points needed, as shown here. Turn off uh, body visibility to make line drawing easier. Now L for line, draw two uh, triangles as uh, shown here. I'm connecting the projected points from on the center plane. Turn the body visibility on again. Select sweep. Then select the two triangles. Click and hold control to select the second one. Now select the inside perimeter as the path. Make sure Join is selected. Click OK. Now turn off Analysis and turn off Sketches. We're done. Save the file and you can export it if you care to. 
Now I'm going to show you the power of parameters. Remember the thread we made for the large uh, shop vac hoses? The outside diameter on that one was uh, 57 millimeter and the inside diameter was 51 and a half millimeter. Because I use parameters, all I have to do is change those values. I will use 50 millimeter for the inside to get an edge for the hose. Here's a section view of the new part. Select Save As and change the name from small to large inlet. Now you have both inlet ends and it's time for assembly. Look for my next video for that. Thank you for watching. I hope it may have helped you in some way.